Hi, everyone. Welcome to Naval. Um, so I am Amanda Vincelli, and I'm the program director here at Naval. I'm also one of the co-founders. And I don't know if uh, some of you are familiar with us or if you've been here before. Actually, let's, let's have a show of hands. I always like to know. <laughs> so is, is it your first time at Naval? It is? OK, awesome. Great, well, welcome. So before we begin with the program, I wanted to take a little bit of time to introduce what Naval is, uh, for those of you who are not familiar with us. So we, um, about two years ago, we decided to turn this space into the nonprofit cultural organization that it is today. Um, and since then, we've been offering free and low-cost cultural public programming. We've also created um, a collaborative learning and uh, research platform that we call Assemblies, and we also have a two-year-long um, collective residency program that supports a range of cultural workers and practitioners that uh, work across disciplines. Um, but really what we um, set out to create is, um, I mean, what is at the root and core of what we do is really to the cultivation of a space and of a community that um, is welcoming and supportive of a range of people from different backgrounds, skill sets, interests, experiences. Um, so our intention here across all of our programs is really to create that culture of kinship across differences, a culture of togetherness and of cooperation, and a culture that embraces, um, that engages with differences and learns from it um, very closely. Um, sorry for the notes. I've been like prepping the event, and I feel like I need to make sure I say what I want to say. Um, so what we really believe here at Naval is that it is through that kind of collective work and effort uh, that we can really model and create the society that we want to be a part of and a society that's not just more creative and collaborative and interesting, but uh, mostly a culture that is more just, uh, more healthy and sustainable as well. Um, so in full disclosure, um, when Leanne and Daniel from the Goethe Institute uh, first approached us about doing this program, I was um, at once very eager, but also um, a bit unsure about uh, the idea of discussing homelessness as part of a cultural program. Um, but at the same time, how could we not, right? And, and how could we not, especially in a space like us that's located so um, in such proximity from Skid Row, basically, and how can we not engage and acknowledge like that reality that is so brutally affecting so many of our neighbors? Um, so, and personally, I want to share like as an artist and as an organizer and as a LA transplant that has been working in a occupying space um, in this South Park district, um, I've found it to be quite like disorienting and. Uh, to, to figure out how one should engage and how one can help um, without um, perpetuating the same mechanism, like the same kind of systemic mechanism um, that are um, upholding that injustice in the first place. Um, so this is why I thought it was critical uh, that we don't shy away from having these challenging and uncomfortable conversations with each other. And um, I really hope that the work that we decided to present today is gonna, um, is gonna help all of us um, uh, to, uh, to understand and untangle like the complex systemic issues that are at the root of homelessness in the first place. Um, but also I hope that it inspires more compassion and um, more understanding as well as more careful and informed actions towards the people who are experiencing it. Uh, so thank you very much for being here. And if you're interested in learning more um, and support the work that we do at Naval, you can visit our website. Um, it's naval.la. And you can also follow us on social media and subscribe to our newsletter. We have a lot of um, really interesting programming coming up for the rest of the year. So um, that's it. So Leanne is going to introduce the program. Thank you. Uh, thank you very much, Amanda. And thank you for sharing this beautiful space with us and for uh, the amazing and I think very important discussions we had um, before this project on how to shape it. Um, so I know some people were already here uh, with us 
um, at the Skid Row Museum yesterday. Um, for those who weren't, um, my name is uh, Lien Heinrich Selemme. I am the director of the Goethe Institute, the German Cultural Center, and um, we are um, organizing together with a number of partners this project, Worlds of Homelessness, um, which um, basically thinks about homelessness as a very local issue that needs uh, local engagement and solutions, but also at the same time uh, believes that it is um, a global uh, discussion um, to be had around housing precarity and that it is um, a discussion that could benefit from international discourse. So um, I'm happy to see uh, some of the people who are going to be with us uh, in the program um, for over the next uh, few days. Um, we started yesterday with an opening at the Skid Row Museum, um, having um, a great panel discussing issues such as racial banishment, the criminalization of poverty, uh, the knowledge economy, um, the Skid Row community, um, as well as um, rent control and expropriation referendum in Berlin. Um, so there were uh, a number of, I think, very vital and um, important issues touched upon. Um, and today we are continuing in this space um, uh, with uh, particularly engaging with uh, artists and artist engagement around homelessness. Um, and I would like to thank our wonderful partners for this project. Of course, the LA Poverty Department that hosted us yesterday at the Skid Row Museum um, and their wonderful community. Then Amanda Vincelli and Michael Holt uh, for trusting us to bring this, as you say, very sensitive and complex project here and for um, the discussions we had in, in how to do it. Um, in a hopefully sensitive and, and um, good and engaging manner. Um, then uh, we have partners like SciArc, um, where we will be tomorrow with the architecture discussion. Uh, the Thomas Mann House, who brought uh, residents over for the discussion, then um, for the discussions and also um, for um, our online dossier. Um, who presented um, their thoughts there. Uh, then Ananya Roy and the Institute in Inequality and Democracy at UCL Alaskan. And of course, um, my team at the Goethe Institute, I have to thank them um, because they are doing such a wonderful job. Um, Simone Maya, Stefan Klo, Dan Chafee, uh, Lucine Reinsch, and Bilen Frey. Um, thank you so much for helping to put this together. Yes. So we're starting this afternoon uh, with uh, two film screenings. Um, and uh, the first film that we will see is Exist, um, a film by Jonas Reuter and Radames Eger. Radames Eger grew up in Brazil and moved to Frankfurt, Germany with a dance scholarship. For years, the fashion designer has dedicated his work to those in disenfranchised by the fashion industry, people without a permanent residence. With his multifunctional fashion, the designer, who has experienced homelessness himself, wants to help primarily houseless people to protect themselves from cold and theft. In 2018, in order to give the subject of homelessness a platform, he planned a tour through all German state capitals in which he exhibited one of his designs, the tent jacket, at public spaces. For three weeks, he and filmmaker Jonas Reuter lived on Germany's streets and in homeless shelters. The film portrays Eger's work and their journey and tries to give a voice to those who are otherwise unheard. So um, we were really trying hard to get Radomus to come, but unfortunately it wasn't possible because of visa and uh, passport issues. Um, we will have him after the film on Skype. Uh, we tested it. He's sitting in the middle of the night in Germany with a friend, um, waiting for us to watch this film and to talk to you. Um, so I hope this works out. And with us in person is uh, Jonas Reuter, um, who is a photographer and filmmaker from Germany, 
Born in a small village near Frankfurt am Main, he moved to the city during his university studies in motion pictures, where the, for the past years he has lived among bankers and those experiencing homelessness. He, lo he loves Frankfurt, techno, and people. It was in a techno club that he met Radames Eger, and after long conversations, his friendship grew, um, or their friendship grew. In 2018, they embarked on a journey which they documented in the film Exist. Um, Jonas has given all the film rights to Radames, who travels Germany with the film to create awareness. So I would like to um, ask Jonas to come and say hello. Hey everybody, uh, my name is Jonas. Um, I'm super happy to be here. Um, yeah, I made this film about Radames, who's an amazing guy dedicating his life um, for people in need. Um, um, I hope you enjoy the film. Uh, we will have a little Q&A after the film. And uh, yeah, that's it for now. Enjoy, guys. Uh, while we're setting up, um, I would like to introduce um, the moderator of actually the entire day or evening. Um, Kirem Halbrecht um, is an architect and a public space producer. He founded 72-hour Urban Action that created tens of urban interventions with designers and residents in cities around Europe and the Middle East. Kirem is also an architect and co-founder at The Spaceship, a pioneering independent work live share space that has become a center of free expression in Tel Aviv since 2007. Recently co-founded Just Add People, a group that develops formats for playful spatial reflection. Since 2016, Kirem is conducting research um, and development for the Goethe Institute in Rotterdam, Kyoto, Los Angeles, and Guadalajara for activation of citizen participation um, in the design and management of the, um, or activation of citizen, oh sorry, uh, of the built environment. Kirem has exhibited and presented around the globe in the Tel Aviv uh, Museum of Art, Harvard Graduate School of Design, UC Berkeley, MIT Media Lab, and MoMA PS1, among others. Um, so I would like to ask uh, Kirem uh, to come and um, start the Q&A. Thank you. Uh, so my first question is, uh, do we have Vladimir? Do we have him on Skype? So uh, with us is Radames that you all saw in the movie, and uh, Beatrice, who will be translating from uh, Portuguese. And maybe uh, is someone here does have a question, want to start? <laughs> okay. The question is, how do you get the jacket? How do anybody in the streets can get the jacket? Yes. Radames, you're listening? You're listening well? He wants to know, the question of a person in the audience is, how do people in the street get a jacket? É, receber uma jaqueta tua. Como que elas fazem? O que, que elas têm que fazer para ganhar a jaqueta ou para comprar, ter acesso à tua jaqueta? Um, eu não vendo, mas eu, 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 antes do inverno eu viajo em todas as eh, ondas linda e, e daí eu conto quantos talões, quantas pessoas que moram na rua lá tem e eu procuro eles depois no inverno para poder entregar para eles. Oh, he says, I don't, I don't sell it. I count during the summer how many people I see in the streets during the season. 
and then when it's time for the winter, I, I count, I know I travel and I make it for them, and then I go after them before the winter to give it to them, so they can have, I choose them. Sorry, I didn't hear. Ele vai mandar, ele falou que vai mandar para você uma, uma roupa de, de esquiador para você fazer para ele. De esquiar. Eu faço uma para ele, eu faço para ele uma, 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 uma tenda, jaqueta, bolsa. He's going to take for you especially like a, a very nice from a special tent, like so you can go skin and you can look amazing for <laughs> É, uma outra pessoa perguntou, como é que está o projeto da torre? Você ainda mora lá na torre? Ainda tem gente ficando com você na torre? Como está? Não, a torre eu tive que abandonar porque a, a, o, a prefeitura daqui não me deixou ficar lá. Mas a torre eu só, eu só tomo ela no, no inverno porque é muito frio as pessoas dormem lá comigo. Oh. Uh, Mas eu não estou mais lá não. Ele disse que o governo, como o mayor, não ajudou. He had to leave. He was able, like, to, he was not able to stay. But in the winter time, they allow him to stay, and other people to stay there with him as well. Look how cute he is, guys. He's like, he took a shower before coming to Skype to see us. Falei que você tomou banho, você arrumou para eles. Sim, eu já arrumei para vocês. Eu não faço isso todo dia. He said, I don't, I don't do that every day. So, uh, hi, I'm, I'm Karen. É o Karen está falando com você, tá vendo ele? Nice to meet you too. And I. Das ist Ludwig. Hallo Ludwig. <laughs> <laughs> I have a question about the process of making the film. Maybe Jonas, that is also here, could say a little bit like how was the interaction between you two? Você entendeu o que ele falou? Não. Ele perguntou como é que foi a interação, o Jonas também está aqui, ele falou, durante o processo do filme, da produção do filme, como é que foi a interação tua com o Jonas? O Jonas eu conheço daqui de Frankfurt, porque eu trabalho com muito dia, muitos é, músicos da noite, que tocam em grupo. E o Jonas trabalha, ele faz filme para essas pessoas. E aí, eu, eu, ele, ele, eu convidei ele para fazer comigo, ele aceitou, e a convivência é muito boa. He said um, he met Jonas through the, in Frankfurt because Jonas likes to help musicians. He does movies for a lot of musicians. And, and he, Radames invited him, told him about his life and invited him if he wanted to make a, this movie and Jonas accepted and he said it was great to, to, to work together. Yeah, Jonas is, um, is um, a guy, how do I Jonas é muito, é muito importante nesse início tudo. Jonas é muito importante em this, in my journey. Yeah. Jonas transformou meus pensamentos em, em vídeo. Jonas transformou meus pensamentos em vídeo. Obrigado, Jonas. Obrigado. Ele te mandou um beijo. Ele jogou um beijo para você. Maybe you, you want to come so he sees you when you ask a question? Yeah, yeah. Vem uma pessoa fazer uma pergunta e vai de novo na câmera para te ver, tá bom? Yeah. <laughs> so cute. Hi there. Hi. Hi, I'm Stacy. Welcome. I'm... Welcome to you. Uh, where are you now and what are you working on? Onde você está? Eu vou falar. Eu faço em, uh, agora mas onde você está ficando agora e qual é o seu projeto atual? Eu moro, eu moro em, na casa de um amigo e o meu, meu, meu projeto é agora viajar os, de novo os, os, os 16 anos lá no dia e a, 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 a postar um filme. He said, I live with a friend now at a friend's house and my project is to, to uh, travel again, visit 16 states and show my movie. Yes. Maybe you can ask him about 
O Jonas está fazendo uma pergunta. Sim, pode o Jonas está falando porque você, porque esse filme fala sobre o projeto do inverno. Como é que é um projeto no verão? No verão, a gente, eu, moro, eu, vou, aí eu moro num parque com as pessoas que vivem na rua aqui de Franca. Tem um parque que a gente vive lá. So the question was, uh, this is a project that we saw in the movie, it was a question about the, uh, the project for the winter. And Jonas said maybe he can mention how he lives in the summer. And he said in the summer they all live together in a beautiful park and they all like uh, help each other uh, through this park, wherever they live. Uh, we buy food together, we do like potlucks, we do things like that together. Nice okay. E a gente tem um, um verão muito bonito. And it's a beautiful place. Can I ask something, if you guys don't mind? Uh, I, when I talked to him before, he talked about his family. He has a, he has a desire to visit his family in Brazil too, because he hasn't seen his mom in a long time. In this, she comes from this little... I don't know if he wants, he loves his mom and his brothers and sisters, so maybe I should ask something about. He's planning to go visit them, he told. Você está planejando ir para o Brasil, visitar tua mãe e teus irmãos? Sim, eu quero fazer um, quero mostrar o filme na minha cidade. E é porque eles não sabem de nada o que acontece. Eu não tenho contato com eles há 13 anos, há um E eles não sabem de nada o que acontece aqui. E eu queria chegar lá e mostrar meu filme. Acho que surpresa, sim. Mm. He told me before that that he really has a desire to make a surprise for his family with this movie. So this movie can show that because they, they don't know anything that happened, like the hard part, you know? So he can tell about whatever hardship he has been through, but show this movie as, as like a successful or a way to see his life. And he said, nobody knows in the last 10 years what he's been doing in Germany. And he said, now he wants to come and show the whole city at this movie. <laughs> Okay, I'm sorry, not. Ela, ela, ele perguntou, ele viu vários guarda-chuvas, né, que você tinha lá na, no caminho, assim, o que, que você faz com os guarda-chuvas? O que, que são os guarda-chuvas? Eu, 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 eu uso peixe, eu, eu uso materiais um, diferentes, e guarda-chuva eu uso para muito também. Ah, mas eu, eu sempre preciso, eu, 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 eu procuro em manhã, quando eu faço alguma coisa, é usar coisas que já estão lá, que não, não comprar nada para fazer o que eu faço. Ok. It's, uh, I like to, to use different materials, and it's a resistant fabric, so I like when I use, when I don't have to buy fabric, I like to get things that are useful and it can resist a long time the weather, and this material is wonderful, and so I, whenever I can recycle it, I do it, and... It, it becomes a really nice product. Sim. Quando criança eu, eu, eu morava do lado de uma mil de uma de uma é, como se diz um depósito um depósito de lixo e nesse depósito de lixo eu, eu achava sempre as coisas que eu, eu fazia essas coisas como quando criança já eu tenho tinha que fazer as roupas dos meus irmãos minhas roupas é, reparar umas coisas da minha mãe eu sempre usava coisas que eu achava no descrição que eu vivia que eu ficava o dia inteiro no descrição achando roupas para poder vender e ajudar Okay. When I was a child, I lived in a very close to a deposit, trash deposit place. So while everybody hated and avoided this place, I used to spend my days there looking for treasures and trying to create things for my clothes for my siblings. They didn't have clothes or try to decorate some, some of the clothing of my mom. And that's how I, ha I had fun and I became creative. Ele falou que ele gostou muito do, 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 do duplo sentido que tem entre um guarda-chuva poder ser um, um abrigo e, ao mesmo tempo, poder ser um abrigo é, também você está usando como um abrigo onde você pode se cobrir. É assim, tem o dobro sentido. Ele achou muito interessante essa, essa ligação. Sim, é porque quando eu fiz a primeira, o primeiro, coisa, o primeiro produto que eu, uma pessoa que morava na rua, eu fiz um, sei lá, um, 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 um saco que a mão podia dormir dentro e podia usar como uma bolsa. Hum. E 
eu, eu achei que eu precisava te dar uma, uma, uma privada séria. Como fala isso? É, aquele tipo uma privada, uma privada, uma, uma vida privada dentro do, desse, desse certo. Por isso é meio importante para mim. Ele falou, ele disse, the first time he did a product and uh, for a homeless, it was a, um, it was like a schlafen bag, like a sleeping bag. At the same time, it was a something that he could warm him up very much, like a jacket too. It could become a jacket. And he said, so it was not only a sleeping bag, but it was also a shelter. He wanted to give him a place to stay and a, pla in a, and a warm thing too. So he could use it as a jacket and also as a sleeping bag, the same as what you said about an umbrella being a shelter and this double sense, you know? How does it, like, he lives? For you to have an idea, he doesn't even have a cell phone. <laughs> Ela perguntou, como você faz, como você passa o teu dia, assim, nas ruas? O que, que você gosta de fazer? O que, que você faz, assim, da tua vida? Porque eu falei que nem celular você tem, que coisa de uma, que nem celular. Eu danço muito. I dance, I dance a lot, I love dancing. <laughs> I've always loved dancing, and that's what I do when I'm like. So, um pouquinho está passando uma ambulância. I feel like that's how he gets by. <laughs> okay. Yes, yes, yes. Ele falou para te perguntar, você já me respondeu, mas eu vou fazer a pergunta dele direitinho, como ele falou. Ele falou que você é, está sem teto. É uma escolha tua? Ou porque parece que você... É, para... é uma escolha para poder... <risos> pra, <risos> pra, que ela... É uma escolha minha. Pra... He doesn't even let me continue. Um protesto. It's like a protest. It's my choice. I want to protest again. Desde, desde que eu comecei meu trabalho aqui, eu morri um, morri um 10 ou da... 15 hospitalos, é, pessoas que moram na rua por, por inverno. E desde que eu comecei meu trabalho, agora morrem morre três, quatro. E eu, eu quero que esse ano não, não, não morra nenhuma pessoa aqui no inverno. He por said, isso que eu moro na rua há dois anos. I've been living in the streets for two years. When I started my, my, this project, uh, 15 to, to 20 people died in the winter or died in the streets for different reasons. And after he started doing that, since the last two years, only three or four died. And his goal is that nobody else will die because of his help and support. I noticed that in the movie they use, the movie that's used, it's the movie that they get along the journey. And I kind of like that because it, it makes the story even more uh, interesting and relatable. So uh, how did they get to that decision? And, and what was the experience like? Eu vou deixar essa pergunta, o Jonas responder, tá? Que é sobre o filme, tá? E daí eu já te pergunto de novo. Um, the tour through Germany was uh, Radam's idea. He was planning to do it for for more than a year. And uh, at one point, I had to do my final film for university. Uh, so it was a good uh, possibility to combine these two situations. And um, then I did all the paperwork to do uh, to get the permissions uh, to to stay in every city in the middle uh, of of some big places. And um, yeah, I didn't have a concept. We just um, started the tour. I um, got my camera with me. And um, the hardest thing about it was like finding the right moment to tell the people we met that I got a camera in my tent. But ob uh, because obviously uh, I never took the camera for the first, um, like in the first moment, I, I always wanted to um, to meet the pe people first, uh, introduce myself, and uh, know their story. And uh, that was the hard thing about it. But yeah, as you saw, some of them, 
were okay to be um, in front of the camera, but most of the people we met, uh, we had great conversations, met so many awesome people. Um, yeah, but most of the homeless guys we met didn't even want to be filmed. That was, yeah, I can understand. Yeah. Ele quer perguntar para você, como é que vocês decidiram fazer essa ideia do filme nas cidades, assim, na Alemanha? Como foi essa ideia tua de fazer esse filme, visitando os estados? Um, a, ideia, a, ideia come... a, ideia, a ideia começou quando eu, quando eu convidei o Jonas para poder... Porque eu queria só... O filme, o filme não teve... Não, é, como eu posso dizer? O filme, a gente nunca teve a ideia de fazer o um filme. Eu queria viajar, fazer, morar, é, morar duas, duas, duas noites, é, é, de frente de toda a prefeitura, de todos os estados. Mas aí quando o Jonas estava é, comigo na viagem, né, ele começou a fazer o filme. E o, o, o Jonas é, queria fazer o filme para a sua... E esse foi a, a, a prova de, 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 da, da prova da faculdade do Jonas. Ah, he said uh, that he's, um, he didn't plan about the movie. They he invited Jonas to travel, like he wanted to live two nights in each, in front of each mayor, um, like uh, official, official building that was re remarkable for some reason. And then uh, what he really wanted is was to travel. And then Jonas had a school, like a project, a college project. And so they, he started like sort of suddenly filming and taking pictures and that became it like together for both of them. Ele perguntou, quanto tempo demora para você fazer uma dessas jaquetas e, e quantas você já fez, mais ou menos? Uh, não entendi. Quanto tempo demora para você fazer uma jaqueta dessas e, uh, e quantas você já fez? A jaqueta demorei uh, três dias e com o tempo duas horas. Oh. E, oh. Yeah. The first time, the first one uh, took three days and now it takes two hours. <laughs> and it, e quantas você já fez? Uh, 950, uh, 120. 950 or more? Huh? 950, right? No, 150, 150. No, 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 I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. 150, 150. I, I, no, I, don't, I, don't I, I don't like to count the work, but I like to count the people I, I helped. Greetings, brother. It's a pleasure to see another that is with the resistance to make sure that we make a difference. I honor that you are willing to make the sacrifice to not be sitting in a place where most wish for you to be in or to set your your set the statistic of where they feel you should be since you do see purpose and I'm um, looking forward to meeting you brother I, I haven't I haven't met many of your fashion so it's an honor to meet you I'm doing the same here in LA so respects and blessings to you Você quer que eu repita? Você entendeu? Ele falou, é, que, meu irmão, que bom conhecê-lo. É, gostaria de dizer que, graças a Deus, existem pessoas como você, que são poucas, que vivem, é, que vivem nas ruas e, e não, ao invés de ficar no lugar onde seriam, teriam mais conforto, moram num lugar porque querem mostrar os que não são aceitos como, como viver. Ele também é uma pessoa tem, que passa por isso. Ele gostaria muito de conhecer pessoalmente, e ele disse também que ele também trabalha com moda, ele também faz isso aqui, e ele, ele queria te conhecer pessoalmente. Para ele, ele vir para cá, eu vou visitar vocês aí. Ah. Eu quero fazer um projeto com a minha, na Índia, ver se tudo, talvez eu venha um aí te ver vocês, mas o contato eu quero ter muito com ele. Said, e, oh. e, e a moda que, e, eu não eu, como eu falo isso, é... A gente, eu só estou bem quando a pessoa do meu lado também está, por isso que eu faço tudo isso. He said, uh, please come visit me, I'll, I'll introduce you to a lot of things, and then I'll come and visit you and learn from your fashion as well. I love doing that, and we can learn together, and I, I love what I do, but it, 
I like to make people happy with the, the fashion. That's why what motivates me, because sometimes when the person is moody or sad, um, I bring this up and it changes their mood. Ah, yes. <laughs> and he reminded me to say that he wants to do a partnership with Good Institute and be able to come and visit and do like whatever project uh, or meet people here as well and talk about what he does. Obrigada por ter me corrigido. We have time for one last question. Temos mais uma última pergunta. <laughs> and I said, don't have to be the last one. <laughs> Doesn't have to be the last one. <laughs> so, he said, it's 3 a.m. here. I'm enjoying it. Quantos irmãos e irmãs você tem? He said, I'm joking. <laughs> Ele perguntou, conta um pouco da tua família. Quantos irmãos e irmãs você tem? Irmãs também? Sim, eu tenho duas irmãs. Eight brothers and two sisters, and they all police in Brazil became police. Minhas irmãs, e as gente estão são todos da favela. É meio estranho que todos vieram policiais. E eu sou muito bom de policial. <laughs> he said, everybody's a policeman, everybody comes from favela. I'm the only thief in the family. <laughs> I'm the only bandit, he said. Well, what did you ask? I'm so sorry, dude. Você é o único, o único artista né, da família. É, o único bandido. <laughs> yes, the bandit. <laughs> Is there anything um, that you want to say that was that you didn't say in the movie? Tem alguma coisa que você gostaria de dizer que você não que não foi falado no filme? Que eu queria te dizer que quando as pessoas que que viram o filme quando as deu uma pista na rua e ficou e até ir até ele perguntar como está não precisa de nada eles só querem só querem as pessoas falar com vocês eu conheci Pessoas que cinco anos nunca tinham falado mais com uma pessoa, porque as pessoas têm medo de pessoas que moram na rua. Uhum. E eu acho que a gente precisa falar mais com as pessoas, porque se uma pessoa fica cinco anos sem falar com ninguém, muito, muito, muito triste. Yes, there is something I want to say to all of you who are watching my movie. I would like to ask you from now on to change your perspective about the people you see in the streets, the homeless people. There are lots, so many homeless people that haven't spoken with anybody and not looking upon for almost five years or so. I would like you to approach some of them from now on and not be afraid and just say, hello, how are you? Do you need anything? Because some of those people haven't had a voice for like a real, literally a no voice for um, almost five years and it is the saddest thing that it can happen to somebody to be ignored for five years like because people are afraid. É muito, é, é, deve ser muito triste esse, uh, ser preso, porque quando a pessoa não se pode falar com ninguém, ela está preso em uma, uma realidade que um, deve ser muito uh, é, má. It's like being in a jail or being arrested in, of your own life. You are like stuck inside like a place. You know, you, it's so sad. You cannot communicate with anybody or anybody can't listen to you. So you're like inside like a jail. It's like arrested or in a jail. Você quer agradecer alguém daqui sobre o trabalho, sobre isso, sobre essa oportunidade, alguma coisa assim? Eu queria, não entendi. Fala você então. Você quer agradecer alguém sobre essa oportunidade? Sim, eu queria agradecer o Goethe Instituto e Liam. Liam, eu não lembro disso. Liam, eu não lembro disso. Ele quer agradecer muito por essa oportunidade, por trazer o Goethe Instituto para a conhecimento da sua vida. E ele disse que ele te ama. Obrigado. 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 Thank you. He wants to see you next summer. Okay, ela falou tudo bem. Okay. So, uh, thank you so much for Muito your, obrigada pela entrevista. For your beautiful message obrigada and your pelas beautiful mensagens work. lindas e pelo trabalho maravilhoso. E obrigado a vocês. Tchau. Thank you. Jonas. Aí sim.